for Jack's I-Team investigation. Yesterday, we told you that the Ferguson family, which owns Riverside Chevrolet, has agreed to sell the dealership after the I-Team exposed dozens of complaints about ruining customers' credit by not paying off trade-in loans. Now we've learned the sale has not been submitted to the state and to the agency that regulates car dealerships. I-Team reporter Vic Michelucci has an update on his investigation. Five different sources tell me that the Fergusons have agreed to sell Riverside Chevrolet to Morgan Automotive Group, which owns 30 dealerships across the U.S. Most of them are in Florida. Their headquarters are just outside of the Tampa area. But I have been in contact with state officials every single day, and right now they tell me that this deal has not been approved. Beth Frady, a spokeswoman for the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, says as of today, the department has not received an application for this dealership to be sold. If the dealership receives an application, it will certainly assess that application in full detail, as well as if the current dealership has any items pending before acting on the application. The department is continuing to investigate this issue and remains committed to assisting customers who may have been harmed by this dealership. And again, we do have dozens of customers who have complaints about this dealership and the management here ruining their credit scores. We have reached out to the dealership several times, have not heard back from them in many days. We have also reached out to Morgan Automotive Group to see about this pending sale. They, too, have not responded to our requests. In South Metro, I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.